It's a rainy day here in Georgia. Sweat and, and water all over me. Sweat and rain. Lightning, a little bit of lightning and thunder. If it's gonna rain, let it rain. Don't let it be one of them little wuss rains where, like it did, like the other day, it did rain and the sun come out and it started getting humid and hot. I mean, it's already hot. God. Oh. Right in the middle of cut grass. I cut the grass. I weed eat it. Right when I was weed eating. I was almost done. It started it start thundering and it started raining, so I didn't have time to take my blower and blow everything off. But I trimmed my bushes. I trimmed like two bushes, one on each side. And uh, these ones in front of the rail were hanging over on the walkway right here, like they was hanging over where you had to brush by them. So I took my Black & Decker electric trimmer and I trimmed all of it. Yeah, I'm rocking. That's what we do here in Georgia. We just sit back and rock and watch everybody go by. Yep. Rained pretty hard. Rained the other day, but like I said, the sun came out. And it started just humid, you know. I think the grass blew out of the street. You know, once in a while we have a motorcycle go by, you know, and uh, that's real dangerous to motorcycle, people riding motorcycles. And usually I'll go out there and I'll take my ride line when I go real fast and blow it all back in my yard. And then when I forget or something, I'll take my blower, I'll go out there and take my blower, but I think most of us have been blown by cars going by. Ugh. If I had to trim them bushes, if I had to trim them bushes and I would start it right on the grass, I would have time to weed eat. And I would have time to weed eat. And uh, after I got done, I would, have, I would have blown everything off. I would have time to blow everything off, you know. Watch this grass be grown again. I just remember I, the last time I cut it was like a... Uh, when that guy came out here Saturday, that Saturday to work on my uh, inside of my closet there, the plumbing. I was gonna do it that day, but it was too late. So then I did it Sunday. I ended up doing it Sunday. And uh, I can't believe it's time to do it again. I do it every other week. I do it every other weekend. So it's hard to believe it's time to do it again. I'm just sitting on the porch. I'm still wet. I'm soaking wet. I'm going to take a shower in a little bit. Those of y'all with a tin roof right now, y'all, I bet y'all feel like sleeping right now, don't you? But some people are like, they purposely get the tin roof put on a house or something. Or they got a building, you know, they, they get in and, and uh, you take a nap, you know, you take a nap in there. I think my dad told me, I think my dad told me one time, I remember years ago, my dad told me a friend of his uh, used to go out in this uh, tra camper, I think it was a mobile home or something. I can't remember what he said it was. He said it was a trailer or a bill. He used to go out there and the guy smoked and he fell asleep and the darn place burnt down around him. He fell asleep with a cigarette in his hand and he died. Ain't really much to talk about. First thing I like to do though when I when I cut grass, you know, sometimes that dirt and grass slings and my AC unit outside, you know it's on. So one of my first priorities, I like taking my blower and just blow the crap out of the AC unit, you know, just to blow all that dirt off there, all the grass and all just to clear it so the air flow can go through good. And then uh then my back, I got like a little, at the back door, I got like a little slab at the back. I like to blow that off. And then I come up here 
and I blow this whole porch off. I blow everything on the porch. And this time I got a few extra on the porch because I got part of this bush I trim right here. See right here, see if I can turn it around for you. See right here? One's my daughter's plant she had when she was in third grade. We had it in our yard and I think they did some work on the plumbing or the pipes or something one time. So my, so my father-in-law, he came, he got it and uh, took, a, took it to their house, put it in a pl uh, pot, a pot and soil. And then uh, anyway, he brought it back to us and me and my older son, we pl uh, we planted it right here at the rail. My son said, don't you think it needs to be close to the rail? I said, no, because it's going to grow. Man, that thing right there, you can sit there and run all over with a lawnmower. You can run all over that thing. With, it's, it's a mixture, by the way. It's not just that plant. It's a mixture. There was a tree right here I had to cut down. I don't know why, but this area right here, you can grow anything you want here. I hadn't really planted a whole lot, but there's things growing here on by accident. But anyway, we planted right here, and uh, it grows, man. You can run over a darn lawnmower. You can run over that thing with a lawnmower and everything. I do it like during a, almost when it's in the season. I'll cut it. I'll trim it with a lawnmower to be it's all the way to the ground and it'll grow back healthy as anything the next time. But I had to I had to trim that. I kind of like it up really, so because it blocks my neighbors right there, kind of goes above right here, right here. But I went ahead alone. I had to go alone outside because it's touching. It was uh, reaching out to the, the, the walkway. My car's getting a car wash free car wash my car looks cleaner now that's shiny with the rain but anyway I had to trim that bush over there then I had to trim those two bushes right there so it actually has three bushes and then this thing in front of the rail that one right there I can't ever look get looking too neat but I, at least I keep it trimmed bird feeders bird feeders to point anyway that's all she wrote. I got. I gotta go. Uh, you know, my blood pressure. I think it's messing with me once in a while. I could be sitting here or sitting on the couch, and my darn blood pressure. I mean, my heart be going like I'm running a race or something. Sometimes, and sometimes it's like it feels kind of weird. I, I take the prescription the doctor gave me two times a day, but I'm not sure if it's coincidental, like I said, but. I went in and jumped the gun and got those shots. I figured eventually everybody's going to have to get them. So I jumped the gun, and here it is. Here it is. A lot of people hadn't even got the shots. They said they ain't going to get the shots. But I don't went ahead and jumped the gun and got those shots. And ever since I got the shots, I haven't been feeling like 100%. I mean, I you know, I feel never had trouble with blood pressure. And I, when I went to the doctor, told him I was feeling bad because after I got those shots, and it's almost like nobody wants to talk to it. When you go to the doctor, it's almost like they don't want you to mention it. When I first went, he said, uh, well, the second time, because I saw a nurse practitioner the first time, it wasn't no good. But uh, when I was telling everybody, he said, he said you, didn't go to the, you didn't go to the hospital? And I said, no, I didn't go to the hospital. A couple minutes later, he asked me again, you didn't, so you didn't go to the hospital? And I said, no, I didn't go to the hospital. I was thinking, what, what is he getting at? But my blood pressure, you know, is real high. And I said, I had never had no trouble with blood pressure, you know. He said, well, you're gaining weight. But shoot. Sometimes I sweat, you know, just think if I come out here and sweat, I can sweat whatever it is out. But I've done it, did it, I did it a couple times and still. When I walk around the store, if I go to like Walmart or, or Food Depot, which I don't go to that many places. When I walk around like Food Depot or Walmart, I sit there and I feel kind of dizzy when I'm walking. It's almost like when I'm looking at somebody like over there, it's almost like they're out of uh, focus a little bit. Yeah, I try to walk around a little bit. I figure if I had to go to Walmart, I'd get a little exercise while I'm at it, but still walking around, I feel kind of dizzy like. Well, I thought I'd drop by. I just thought I'd drop by since I was sitting on the porch. I don't know what I'm gonna eat tonight. It might be uh think about eating them banquet wings. I guess get I got some wings in there from banquet. That's what I should have had the other day instead of buying that at the Walmart deli. It'll be a little bit cheaper. But I got banquet wings and I might eat potato salad with it. I got some potato salad, so I might eat banquet wings, and maybe we'll take potato salad. Well, Mark's reviews and rants out of here. 
I was just going to make a quick little video, and I said, well, let me just talk a little bit on here. The grass is cut. So hopefully, I'm telling you, the grass is cut now. Watch, all of a sudden, it'll be time to do it again. Just like I said, I did it a day after that guy left Saturday. That Saturday, that Saturday was uh, the 16th, July 16th, when that guy came and, and did that repair work in there. That Sunday, I went ahead and cut it. And that Tuesday is when those other guys came. The 19th is when the, uh, the other guys came. And they did the main plumbing work. So, uh, I'm thinking, darn, it, it's hard to believe it's been that long. since It seemed like them guys just came yesterday. Yeah, I see Mark's reason rants out of here. I got a video I'm uploading before this one. So, I'm going to have two videos. Hope y'all like them. But anyway, subscribe, like, uh, pass my channel on. I got a couple more subscribers since uh, yesterday. I was thinking, darn, I've been at 292 now for a long time. I said, 292? You know, I mean, I'm glad to get 292. I'm glad of that. But, but, uh, it seemed like I've been there for a while, but today I think I got 294 or 295. I'm not mistaken. I think it's 295. I think it's 295 I got. I mean, I'm grateful for any, anything I got, got, but it seemed like oh, I've been doing this since like, I think 2015 or 16. It's kind of gradually growing. I guess I gotta come up with some more interesting topics, you know. Anyway, Mark's for using rants. I'm out of here. Have a good one.